Well, I bet you didn't expect to be here uh, tonight, did you, Johnny? Uh, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... Oh, are we on yet? Yeah, we're on, yeah. We're on? Yeah. We're on TV? Here, yeah. Far out. Yeah. I mean, we really doing it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we just left this. It's four o'clock in the morning following the uh, Ann Arbor Blues Festival. Blues Festival? No, they call it a festival. They call it a festival. It was. You never get that. It was a concert. Yeah, a concert, but it was for the festival. But you, how'd you like playing with uh, Luther? Oh, it's fun, man. I played with Luther at the uh, at the festival. You know, first time. First time I ever seen Luther. I wonder if anybody can hear you. Well, we ought to so. do this. I hope so. Yeah, we should. Like, yeah. Why don't you come over here, man, where I can, where right. I can, where I can get, I get on TV and talk to I can't and stand up, here. you know, I'm not by myself at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that last so, thing we were playing wasn't on TV, was it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that was oh, on TV. No. Oh, yeah, you gotta cut yeah. that, man. We were just, uh... <laughs> I know, you are just tuning up. But, no, you know. don't put that yeah. on, man. Well, it's like an ohm, just like yeah, Ravi Shankar, you know. Oh, we can't have to tune that much, man. That's like the morning rock. That's not fair. It's not fair. Let's play just like this. Okay. We're supposed to do an interview or something now, a rap. Randy, you've done more TV than Johnny, is that right? Did you Take understand? it away, Randy. Yeah, Randy, 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 Randy's good at yeah. help. Yeah. You've been with... He was talking about here. Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. Turn around this way. I thought yeah. but That's because you were... I thought he was afraid I was going to play too loud on the weekend. He wanted everybody to come by that one mic. Can you do that? <laughs> Be a good idea. <laughs> oh, I got one. I know for some reason. Oh, you got you cheated. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we should put this right here. Okay. You think you can still hear that doing that? Hello. We'll try. Hello. Anyway. Yeah. So, what do you think of? Uh, what do you think of what's happening to rock and roll, Johnny? Oh, it's in bad shape. It's in bad <laughs> trouble, man. Somebody's got to yeah. do something quick. I hope I figure it out for everybody else. Does. Yeah, I hope they all do more. <laughs> I mean, really, you know, it's like everybody's just is doing the same thing. It's kind of stagnating now. I mean, what do you, think, you, know, what do you there, think the sound is? There's, there's, always, there's always some good music out there. In fact, there's a lot of good music out there, but there needs to be some something really exciting, you know, like, mm -hmm. like Elvis when he first came out, or the Beatles when they first came out. Mm -hmm. just, a new thing. Hitting uh, a low ebb again, just like the like early jamming, 60s. Jamming is, is strange. It was, at first, you know, you had to play, you had to figure out a little, a little song and do it. And then when musicians became able to, uh, to jam and, and just do what they felt like uh, in person and on records, it was like exciting and new and everybody really got into it. And now it's been done so much, to, to, uh, there's, there's, there's uh, music is, is kind of lacking structure, you know. Uh, there's so many. Lacking bands. structure or too structured? Which one? It, uh, just lacking or just yeah, lacking. Lack. Just, just, just kind of unexciting. Um, you think it's lack. lacking structure or too structured? Maybe that's why it's unexciting. Too, well, that, you know, that one. Moody blues, too moody blues whenever, type of music. Whenever yeah. it's too structured, to me it loses, it loses excitement. Like I like spontaneity. I like yeah. things that are kind of unplanned. But uh, there's so many Isn't people it, doing it so much now that they're, they're. I, I don't know really what it's what it's going to take, but just just something to get some excitement back into the whole scene. Everybody's just burnt out. In the true, you hardly ever rehearse your tunes. You just do mm -hmm. them on stage. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's really true. <laughs> <laughs> We're the most yeah, spontaneous sure. rock and roll band yeah. in the world. We we never know. You know, just G. Okay, one, two, three, play. Shuffle on B flat. I mean, it's really it's really fun that way. I like it because I I just can't stand to uh, have everything set. Okay, it's going to be this way every night. You know, it just it's to be old. Mm -hmm. And it's never old this way. Just try new things every night. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But it's always, you know, it's always fun. You can, uh, it's exciting. You can't build what's going to happen. And how do you, how do you like playing with the new band? What do you think that one of the big changes that you've noticed since uh, you left the old band? You had that one for about two years. For about two years. Well, I love playing with the new band. Uh, mm -hmm. The difference. You like the old the, band too for blues. I loved it. I loved the old band. And when it got, when it got to be. Not not as cool, and we got tired of doing it. Then uh, almost immediately, uh, we decided to change. We were we were beginning to stagnate. There just wasn't anywhere we could go. Uh, we played straight blues for for two years, and 
I just, you know, I just wasn't giving up blues or selling out or anything. I just wanted to, to do some other things. Mm -hmm. still play. Um, uh, we still do a lot, of, a lot of blues. And the we rock can do, we could do things with this band that we just couldn't do with the old band. That old band was just, it was a blues band. You know, a lot of people were really surprised. Well, you still love the blues, obviously. Love though. Blues. <laughs> but, well, it's all I can play. What, like whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever context it's in. You know, like even if I'm playing rock and roll, if I play Johnny Be Good, or you know, it's still like the same licks, the same. Yeah, if you get out and guitar. play an acoustic guitar, you don't sound like a lot of rock and roll musicians. Even when they get a pick up acoustic guitar, it sounds like. Uh, well, it doesn't sound very funky. <laughs> any time. I like to do yeah. more acoustic things uh, in personal. I haven't done any uh, the acoustic things that I did with when we were playing small clubs. It really feels strange. It's scary to get up in front of you know 20,000 people with acoustic guitar yeah. when you don't have a lot of amps so you can you know, right. really, uh, really feel, what, feel what's happening yourself. And like at a small club, you feel close to the people. Uh, and, and the music sounds louder because there's people in walls around you, but it's really empty sounding uh, playing like festivals and things, and acoustic numbers, so I just like recorded them, recorded them, but uh, we were, we're thinking about, uh, Rick and I were thinking about trying to get some acoustic things together. Yeah, didn't you record an album in the Progressive Blues Exper Experiment? Didn't you record that album in the club? Uh, an empty club? Was yeah, it? right. I mean, nobody had enough money for studios and things like that. So <laughs> this cat just got some poor equipment and went in this big barn. I think it sounds like it too. What's the name of the place? Uh, the Vulcan Gas Company. Yeah. It's the only uh, the head place in, uh, in Austin. Can they be guard you? I have no idea. I don't know anything about that. But meanwhile, that, that, that album probably has the, has the funkiest sound of the even more than the albums on Columbia. Yeah, yeah, because it was that was really a spontaneous record. We we didn't I don't think we didn't take any of the cuts over about five or six times. We just got in and played it, whatever whatever came out was there. Well, what, it was fun to do. Yeah. what do you think you're gonna? Uh, how are you thinking you can get a funkier sound on Columbia? It seems like everything on Columbia now has that crisp, uh, sterile, sound, really bothers sterile me. Really bothers sound me. of uh, Chicago. Yeah, or, really, really bothers me. On the, on the Johnny Winter and years. album, I thought we got a little, <laughs> we got a little funkier sound. Uh, we, we tried using yeah. one mic. It's very was, clean though, but it's but it was, but it was set. Well, it wasn't as clean as, as the other things. But it was getting, it was yeah. getting more in that direction. Didn't you think so? Or did you oh think yeah. It was? Oh yeah, it's funky. So. I mean, I mean, the sound I thought was yeah. was was dirtier than. The, any of the rest of the things that we've done. Yeah, we went in like we were going to do a live album. It was, it was like a combination. Uh, it was a half live and, and half studio. Uh, we, we had everybody mm -hmm. mic individually, like usual. And then we had one room mic in the middle of the room picking up all the echo and room sound. And mm -hmm. so we, we, mixed, loud. we mixed both of them in together. And it kind of sounded you know, dirtier and, and, and liver. And the next album we've got coming out is a, is a live album. We cut most of it to film more. Oh, wow. Yeah, it sounds nice. Oh, Fillmore sounds so great. You got new tunes, man? Uh, no, it's no, just the, it's the regular set we do. Tunes. Oh, yeah? It's the regular, just the whole thing, you know, just the way we play it. There's a lot of tunes that I've done on the Imperial album that I wasn't satisfied oh, yeah. with in those days. And, and it just sounds a lot, you know, you just miss. It's going to be a miss. live rock and roll yeah, album with the crowd as oh, part really of the sound. On, right, yeah, a real sure. good on record that the crowd is there to uh, you know, stimulate you. It's just a whole different thing, recording and, and performing live are two different things. And, uh, one thing that a lot of people said they missed was just the, the you know, excitement feeling in the records because uh, we just go at it differently in the studio in person. I think we, I think on this record we're going to capture a whole lot of, of uh, a whole lot of what people kind of expect from us. What do you think of the future of the pop festivals? Yeah, yeah I was wondering about that myself. It? <laughs> <laughs> it looks last summer when yeah. 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 You weren't, you weren't there at Goose Lake. That was a bizarre one. Yeah, we were. Oh, you were, you were at the Blues Festival, yeah. right? Yeah. Powder Ridge was a doozy yeah. too. Check out a tune. Okay, tunes. Song. Do do? Song. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little uh, the combination. Make up yeah, some stuff right. here. A little Robert Johnson medley. See, am I close enough this night? Yeah. Here we go, man. Uh -huh. 